everyone. Welcome to Built From Bricks. I'm Brian. And I'm Drew. And today we're talking Lego sorting. There's a lot to sort. Oh and this is, the, this is just a little bit of it that you can see on the table here. I love sorting. You do not love sorting. I love sorting <laughs> so much. I would pay people to come sort and feed them in cookies and milk and mm. pizza if I could get people to come so over. So if he wants elves, he's all set. Luke came over and helped and me. Milk. Luke came over and helped me sort. We talked about Luke in another. Luke's in two episodes Luke now. Luke comes up in all the episodes. We need to get him back here. We do. I have to talk to him yeah, and get him, back, get him back, here. back here. He is coming yeah. to Philly. Anyway, nice. let's get on to the topic of at hand. Yes. When it comes to sorting, people have all different ideas of, and ways that they like sorting, and some work for them, some work for other, you know, don't work for them, for other people. So I want to show you the way that I sort, and it may, you may not agree with it. Drew, Drew doesn't. I don't know how Drew sorts. Maybe he can tell us how he sorts his Lego, or his daughter sorts her, her Lego. I'm not sure actually. I never asked you. We can talk about that. I'm sure. We can. So I want to show you how I sort. So we have this big pile. These are two from. Can maybe. Just the five second thing. No. <laughs> What the heck? <laughs> I thought this part was the five second part. No, I wanted to do that first opening as the opening. Oh god. Then put the Bill from Bricks flashy. Oh, thing. that's what you mean. Yes. Alright, we're starting the show. That's why I'm sitting there like a dope. Alright, let's start the show again. <clears throat> now I forgot what I started. How do I start? I started talking about sorting. <laughs> so we are here and we're gonna start sorting and I wanna talk about the way I sort. Some people have their own techniques of sorting, and you may like their way, you may like my way, or you may create your own way. So I know Drew might have his own way of sorting as well. I, I think everyone finds their own way to sort. There's, Some, you know, are you going to do it by piece size? Are you going to do it by color? Uh, when I sort to build something, I usually sort by color. That way... I sort by color and piece for that. Piece. So my typical way of sorting, and I'll show you some of, the, some of the ideas and some of the ways that I do it here, is we have lots of pieces on the table. But, okay, here's an example, two by fours. Mm -hmm. So, what I start doing, and I have a few down here prepped and ready just to show you. I'll sort by color, but I'll sort by piece type. But, if there's enough of a certain color, okay. then I'll put them, so I'll take, I'll start sort looking for all the, all the ones I got that are that color, and basically throw them in there. These are two by fours. I don't have a red one, so I'm gonna grab an empty container. And I can see a lot of red on the table, so I'm gonna throw the red ones in here. But I want to show you when it gets down to smaller pieces or when you don't have enough of a certain color, what do you do? Well, what if you have, say, a 2x4 that's a different color green and you don't have enough, you know, you don't have enough of this color green, do you, what do you do? You mix I'll mix them, them because they're con if they're contrasting, sometimes okay. I'll mix contrasting colors. Okay. So that's a good example. So would that be better against this one or a darker? I mean, you can really see it against both because it's so yeah. bright. Okay. So the bright if I end up, up. But When I end up with enough of these, I will put them in their own container. Mm -hmm. Or if you end up with a lot of the darker green ones. Yeah. So we're just looking for two by fours right now. And again, this is just two by fours, but we have all kinds of pieces. We have slope pieces. Sure. Behind me, I know I have a slope one with greens, I have a one with grays, but I don't have ones with pinks. So I'd probably either throw that in with a gray, because you'd see it if there's only a couple of them, mm -hmm. or start its own little bin. Right. Because not only do these containers that I'm using, which I should mention what they are, uh, these are sterilite containers, they're a divided case. Oh, okay. There'll be a link in the description. It's part 1402, which you can see in here. Here's oh, this is a perfect example of slopes. Right. And there's different kinds of slopes in here. Okay, and this is actually a different one. It has a compartments, four compartments. Yes, because uh, they're, uh, I'm sorry, six compartments as opposed to one large one. And you can actually mix and match. Which is what I do a lot. So if you want, you know, six here and then two of the longer ones, you can do that. Or you have two of the six. Pocket ones. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And my like like I was saying, so I have these whatever, these two by two slopes. Mm -hmm. But I only have I have a bunch of grays, but I only have one orange, so I'm not gonna make a new compartment for it right, right now. I'm just gonna throw them in there until I get more of a certain sure. color. Okay. These are actually sorted behind me. You can see a little bit by columns and there's one there's a column of one by ones, a column of one by twos, one by threes, one by fours, then it goes to one by sixes. When it gets to the one by eights and tens, those are kind of combined because there's not a lot of one by eights and tens. So that's another thing that we can, you know, that we do. Ah, and it makes it a lot easier because when you're building something, say you're building your Lego city or your Lego zoo, you can easily say, okay, I'm going to be using a ton of these uh, two by four 
red bricks. I'm going to use those as like a base for something. So I'm just going to pull out that box and I'll have those all there ready for me, ready to go from my container. And yeah, there's, that's, a, that's a good method. That's so good here's one with blue. Again, talking about this blue, here's blue. But I don't have a lot of blue. No. So I'm going to mix these two blue together because they're easy, they're easily identifiable. Yeah. And I can just throw them in here. And now I have nice bins of a lot of this. I will say red brick, but I really only use a red 2x4 as far is building under the city right. and supporting stuff, stuff you'll never see. So I hide this, but because they're finally one of the cheaper pieces, it's I think red or blue are probably the cheapest ones I can get like big bags of on Bricklink. Sure. I'll get these because right. you're never I mean, going to see gonna them. If you're going to build things up like the Stoke Road, you're going to use things like that. Yeah, and I need lots and lots and lots of them, that's the problem. Exactly. Some people use girders, those, 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 the, the I don't know what they're called. They're like they're columns like this, but they're girders in between. Okay. Some people use those to support the city, but then it can be like less stable if you don't do it right. Uh, okay. So for tan as an example, I don't have a ton of. So the, all the browns are kind of going together. Yep. And then let's grab one other container There's here. So many reds. There's a lot of reds. Same. Here is so oh. one by twos. One by twos. And here's what I was here's exact a perfect example of my contrasting colors. So we have the yellows and the oranges together. We have dark greens and some other mid green, like that's lime green, but dark greens and regular greens in there. And then different kind of blues because I don't have enough to fill right. one of these. I'm not going to waste the space right now. Sure. So that's a perfect example. And you know, sort, sorting through here, okay, here's, that's how I'm going to get yep. that sorted. And I will show you a couple others while he's grabbed a couple. I'm just sorting. Here's an example of where I have so much of one. That just took over the whole container. <laughs> what do you got? Oh, that's right. Because you got a whole bunch of these to make this is the walls. This is walls in my zoo. I use a lot of, I kind of call them like a, it's a one by two modified brick, but I kind of refer to them as like a bamboo one. piece almost. Mm. I have tan ones of these and I have these dark, I love this color. It's the dark brown, not the reddish brown. brown. And so this takes up the whole thing. I could actually, in some cases, but I might do, is dump the whole thing just into here because this is just a waste of four sure, containers. Sure, sure. But what I actually, yeah. what's that? I was, well, if you dump those into there, like you have an empty one of these that you could use it for? Like, no, what, no, but uh, I'll just have spare ones of these. Spare, just And then if it starts to get less, then I can put one of these back in it. Ah, uh, okay. I have another one, I think, while you're over there. I can find it. But this one's here's an example of that one. And I have two of these. I know, I'm all over the place, but that's how I operate here. Here you go. Here's an example without the bins. Oh my goodness. So this is all the little tiles. Three thousand two by two dark gray tiles for streets in the city. But again, I don't need the extra bins right. in here because I'm just gonna yep, wrap it out of here. Yeah. And the reason I like this, and a lot of people use those tool bins to put to sort pieces. Yep. Those, those little teeny drawers, you can only fit so much in each one of them. Mm -hmm. I probably have extra space taken up in a lot of this, but that's okay because there's. I can add to it, I can move stuff around. Yeah. And it, this is also lock this, so if it falls on the ground, it's not gonna if those if those containers fall over, all those drawers are spilling out. Right, right. So I thought this was a cool solution and like I say with large ones. And I even have some really big overflow bins, but Yeah, you you did a you did a nice job with this. I think maybe you get some stickers made up to say what's gonna be in there though. So I do have them <laughs> or on some of them. I have to out. label the rest. I think you, you did label some, you did start labeling them. And that, that's another thing too, is label what you what you got in here. So he's got jumpers, jumpers, um, and so all the all the jumpers. And, and in another episode, we were he was looking for a lot of jumpers. And, and I don't know why there that's in there. Plenty more jumpers. That's from a set, but uh -oh. set that I parted out. But so here again, they're sorted by color. I have to go through this and get the brown ones out of here because it looks like there's enough left to throw them in their own little bin. Yeah. And then his. So I'm missing for some reason, but I can take an empty one and put it here. Yeah. Like from that one that I took the 3,000 pieces from. So I gotta go through this green one. I ended up with a lot of green ones from the, probably from the pick a brick wall. Oh, okay. I yeah. just filled them in a cup. Yeah. That's, that's I wish they had happens. more use for color farming. Right. I'll lock it up before it goes back over there. <laughs> <laughs> and so, yeah, those are some really good ways to do some organization. Yeah, I think, I think that's kind of covers it. That's sorting. 101 built from brick style, <laughs> Brian style. Anyway. Yeah, there you go. I don't know if it applies to Drew as much. I just pick things out and put them where Brian tells me. So let me know what you think about my sorting ideas in the comments. I, again, I can put a link in this 
in the description to where you can get this. I typically buy them as a six pack on Amazon. You can find them at Target. Uh, he was buying them at Target for $5.99 a piece, but they are there on the shelf sometimes, sometimes they're not. Then the price went up to $6.99. So I think I got six of them on Amazon. It comes in a box of six, and it's, I think it was like 36 bucks. Sometimes it's 39 bucks. It goes up and down, which is six bucks a piece. Yeah. And it's usually free shipping because it's over 30, because it's over $25. So I do that, you get these giant boxes come on your doorstep. But then I can sort and have, I think I have 50 or 60 or 70 of these things at this point. <laughs> and I could fit you in this, so in this, stuff in this storage rack system here, the way I have this built with these yeah. like college dorm cubes. I think yeah. I calculated I can fit, well how many can I fit? One, two, three, four, five times however many cubes there are here. Yeah. It's over it's a, it's a couple hundred or 300 or something like that. It was a, it's, it's a lot. It's a lot. That's so a that's, lot. A, I mean, it's enough to store quite a bit of Lego. If you have bulk stuff and you have a ton, like over, like the people that sell on Bricklink, yeah, they have other storage systems for bulk. Like over, when you have 10,000 of a piece, that's like a two by four, it's not going to fit in one of these. Right. 3,000 tiles is barely, is pushing it. Yeah. So, that's, again, my sorting. Hope, hope you enjoyed it. Tell us what you think. Don't forget to check us out on Instagram and Twitter and YouTube and Facebook at Built From Bricks. As well as look out for our live stream. We will publish when that's going to happen. It's on Thursdays at 6 p.m. Um, depending on the week, we'll let you know ahead of time. Thanks for watching. What have you, you built, built today? today?